Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop on today's review. We take a look at the Fresh Monkey Fiction Classic Santa Claus. Today I'll be reviewing this figure in the following categories. Accessories, articulation, design, is it essential to your collection, functionality, and price. Once all scores are total, I'll give you my opinion if this figure is a pass or a purchase. So... What a way for a new company to keep to schedule. Last year at this time, they said that this figure would release in December, and here it is, Mezco Super 7. You can learn something here. I was so quick to tear the box apart, but doesn't this remind you of something? Doesn't it look just like a Marvel Legends box? So for accessories, you actually get a decent spread. Let's go ahead and start with this stand that I will absolutely not use. You receive an additional head portrait. Let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. This is pretty similar to the head sculpt that's on Santa Claus, the exception the eye is closed, and this one has no hat. You receive five pair of hands in total, two on the figure which are open hands. You receive a naughty or nice list. I like how this is done. You receive a plate. A glass milk for that set glass two cookies for your plate and you receive a gift which is nicely done and it opens and yes it seals all the way so for accessories the only thing that I really want here that's not here would be a sack for Santa so I for overall accessories I'm gonna give this figure a 9 out of 10 so for articulation, let's go ahead and start with the head. The head can't look up at all, nor does it look down. It does rotate to the side, and you have some pivot, no shift back and forth. The arm is able to kick out to the side about that much. It does rotate a full 360. No upper bicep cut, though you, though you have rotation at the elbow. The wrists are on a hinge, so they go side to side. So now with the torso, this is one solid piece. You do have a dumbbell under the belt, so Santa is able to flex forward only that much. Backwards a lot further. Let's, let's try forward again. Wow, that was a lot of range there. No, that's about right. You do get some pivot side to side and some overall rotation. The legs are able to kick out to the side all the way, full 360. They're able to go forward about that much, backwards that much. You do have an upper thigh cut. Another point of rotation at the boot. The foot is able to kick down that much, forward. And you have some good tilt on the inside as well as the outside. The knees are single jointed, bending in that much. Almost forgot the elbow is also single jointed, bending in about that much. No butterfly joints here. Almost forgot he does rotate left and right. So for overall articulation, not that bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and give Santa a 7 out of 10. So for design, let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's go ahead and start with the head scope. So I have some issues here. Starting with... If you look closely to the side, you could see some red paint coming on the air as well as on the beard itself. And on the top of the beard by the mustache is also present there. Sticking with the beard, the beard itself, there's some paint that's seeping through. And then the beard is a yellow. I really would have liked this to look more whitish or grayish as it did in the promotional images. So not really happy with the paint detail here and it continues on the air. Looking at the top of the head right there, there is a seam. Hopefully it's coming across on the camera, but it is very noticeable. Okay, so looking at Santa's jacket, I do like the color choices that are used here. There's some shading. Though in some areas, it, it appears that paint is peeking out that shouldn't. Like this hair looks different than what the color should be. Looking at the torso, I do like the shading. And the shading is pretty much throughout on the figure. I'm really happy with that. Coming to the back, shading continues. And I also like that here and there, you do get some wrinkles. Like right around here, some texturing. 
Now, I don't like the two dimples that are here in his stomach. It's not the worst thing, but it is there. The belt is a little bit sloppy at the bottom. There is some gold paint peeking up where it should be black. But I do like that each loop is painted as well as the buckle, the latch. Coming down on the side. This is split, which doesn't bother me. However, it just looks like a piece of plastic that has been cut. And that in itself bothers me. Coming down to the boots, the buckles are painted as well as each hole for the buckle to go through. Now, another, not issue, but a bit of a gripe of mine. I don't feel that this Santa is fat enough. Look at his stomach. It barely bulges out. So when I think of Santa, I'm certainly thinking of a heavier guy. Also, when I think of Santa, I'm also thinking of a larger guy. I think that varies per person. So for me, having a Santa that's 6'7", makes sense. 6'7", maybe 400 pounds. Sort of like an E-Honda Santa. So this figure for me feels a bit on the small side. I'm not sure how he scales against other figures as I haven't saw that as of yet. So for design, we have some issues with paint. And my personal desire is to have a Santa that's a bit bigger. So for overall design, I'm going to give this figure a 5 out of 10. My sixth time recording this, so we're going with this. So with Santa Claus has sent you to your collection, well, let's take a look into the history. When there comes to Santa Claus, there's a lot clouded in myth and that which is clouded in mystery. So Santa Claus, also known as Kris Kringle, or better, St. Nicholas, was actually a saint by the name of Nicholas, which lived on the earth in about the third century. St. Nicholas was known for many generous acts and in some sort of form would morph into the version of Santa Claus that we know now. The name Santa Claus is actually St. Nick's Dutch name, which is Santa Claus. In addition to this, Santa Claus actually exists in the DC Universe, the Marvel Universe, the Spawn Universe, and nearly any iteration of anything that you can think of. Now, when it comes to toy options, there are several novelty versions of Santa Claus. Though I have to say when it comes to action figures, it is very limited. And either you're looking at this version or you're looking at the recently released Mythic Legion versions of Santa Claus. So when it comes to being essential to your collection, I'm going to go ahead and give this version of Santa Claus a 10 out of 10. So for functionality, Santa clearly passes the stand test. Let's go ahead and just start with the top of the head for a moment as the hat is removable. We haven't pulled this off as of yet, but there we are. Dumbbell up top is huge. We do have some red paint, but that doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and prop the additional winking head. And let's go ahead and throw this hat on. Let's go ahead and bring in a cool accessory, which is the glass. And here is the milk. At first I was like, what is this? But it fits right in there and it looks like Santa has a glass of milk. Now let's see if he can hold it. And I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. All right, so you got to really push it in there, but you can get him to hold it. Unfortunately, the hands on the hinge that go side to side instead of vertical. So I will be deducting a point for that. Let's go ahead and get that removed. Next, let's go ahead and try Santa's list. Oh yeah, that works. Let's get that out of there. It's not tight, but it works. Okay, so with the cookie, yeah, it's gonna work too. Not sure if he can put it to his mouth. Nah, butterfly joints would have helped a lot there, but he can at least hold it. And for the plate, let's go ahead. No one holds a plate like that. It needs to be like this. Let's try some of the other hands. Ooh, pretty tight. Whoa. Shoot, that was so hard to get out. I don't even want to put the other hand in. I actually had to bite to remove that. So I would recommend heating it. And with me biting it, I actually did some damage to the hand itself. Probably can't see it. And right there and here, I removed some paint. So. Be careful, don't bite it, go ahead and heat it up. And the plate, yeah, that works as well. Last accessory is the box, present. 
And I'm pretty sure with both open hands, let me not say I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Let's figure is this butterfly joint, this lacking a butterfly joint is definitely hurting. All right, so he doesn't hold this particularly well. You can get him to hold it. You're, you will have to lean the present up against his body. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not too thrilled with that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the body of the figure. I do, I feel like with this figure, we could have gotten an A, a floating A and a B portion, though I do understand why they did a singular piece. And for the most part, it works really well. It's just that crunch forward, which we could have gotten a little bit more of that. The single joint, you actually get a decent range too. I'm not mad at that. And you also with the single knee, you get a decent range with that too. Now with the head, it's understandable with this big bear to why it really doesn't look down. But as far as looking up, I feel like we should have gotten some up, especially if you look in the back. He doesn't have long hair. And I really would have liked if this was a softer material like a fox fur. Hey, maybe I'm asking for too much. I do like that certain pieces are soft, so it doesn't restrict movement. Like the leg comes way up, and that's pretty cool. Also, having this cut on the side allows the leg to kick out too. So with functionality, this figure moves very well. I will be deducting a point for each hand, as there's no vertical hinge. I will be deducting a point for the head as well. So for overall functionality, I'm going to give Santa a 6 out of 10. So for pricing, this figure comes in at $37. Add in taxes, add in shipping, you're looking at a price point of roughly $45. So is this figure worth the price of admission? Well, see what he comes with. In terms of accessories, you really get a decent spread. You have a removable hat, you have two head sculpts, and he comes with some neat accessories, such as that glass with a cup of milk. Really like how that's done. You receive a plate with cookies, and you also receive a wrap gift. Now, when it comes to pricing, I'm sort of torn in that Marvel Legends and McFarlane selling point. And while I'm well aware that this figure doesn't sell in volume to what Marvel Legends are McFarlane sells, I can't help but to think that McFarlane has figures that are much larger than this that are 20 bucks. In addition, this figure has a lot of reuse. If you're into this line, just mostly reuse. So for that, when it comes to overall pricing, I'll be giving this figure a 7 out of 10. That should give this figure an overall cliff score of. So now is this figure a pass or a purchase? When it comes to this figure, there's a lot to like. Let's just go ahead and start with the articulation and functionality. This figure moves well for what it is, and I really like the accessories that are included. And for those of you that want more accessories such as myself, there are accessory packs for this figure. What I really like too, if you're not in tune with this particular version, there are several versions to choose from. This is probably the best version of Santa that we have in action figure form. I know Mythic, Mythic Legions just released one. Wasn't crazy of the look of that figure. I much more prefer this. With all of that said, I'm going to have to say that this figure is a pass. For one simple reason, in my brain, Santa Claus needs to be bigger in mass. This figure is just not big enough. And I guess I can live with him being this size, but look, that belly is almost flat there. I need that stomach to protrude more. But this is still a great action figure. Okay, so what I was really looking for is to see how he scales with other figures. Marvel Legends, Deadpool. And he's definitely taller than Deadpool, which I like. Here he is next to a NECA figure. And maybe I'm crazy, but not exactly this scale, but this is more appropriate for me. So thank you for tuning in to Mr. Cliff's Toy Shop. I hope to see you during the next episode.